I don't know about all of you, but when I was a kid and a teenager, I, I would not wear a coat. My mum told me every time that I should wear a coat. I always regretted not having a coat, but I did not wear a coat. And as an adult, I came to realise that was because I didn't have a coat that matched my specific outfit I was wearing that day. And I was not ruining it for the sake of being warm. But as an adult, I hate being cold. I'm cold all the time. Not impressed by it. So I decided to buy enough coats to match every outfit, essentially. It wasn't entirely intentional, I won't lie. But I do now have a coat that matches essentially every outfit. And they're all either thrifted or just straight up vintage or both. And some of them have quite interesting stories too. So I thought it'd be fun to like share my collection of thrifted and vintage coats with the internet world. I haven't put these in any like specific order of my favourites or anything. So I'm just gonna like pull one off and then tell you about it and show you it and have a fun time because I love coats. First up is my favourite like light spring jacket. You know, it's not that warm and it's not allowed to get wet, but it's a jacket still. It's originally from Margu um, Vitelli. So sorry to any like Italians or Spanish people or anyone that's not an idiot that could have said that. It's 100% silk, lining 100% nylon, large, made in China. I got this from somewhere in the Baltic market in Liverpool. I feel like I paid like 20 quid for it, like this is definitely one of the more expensive ones I've purchased, but God, it's good. It's just pure 80s fun. Like, I'll come and show you a close-up of the uh, pattern in a sec, but it's just so fun. It's, oh, it's got the little waist tie things, and I will say when it's windy, I do tie them and have, like, like a little waist definition thing, but, like, it's from the 80s, and so it's just a drop waist situation otherwise. I don't love the shape of it, I won't lie, but the pattern of it is so fun. Absolutely one of my favourite jackets. And it's a real shame I can't wear it in the winter. The pockets are good in it as well. <laughs> Gotta love a pocket. I feel like to follow on from that, I have to show you my other 80s jacket. Now, I don't know for sure this is from the 80s because it was thrifted. But the label is like absolutely destroyed. It just about tells you it's a size 14 and there's no other labels in it. And just from like the vibe of it, I feel like it's from the 80s. It's got this gorgeous like paisley collar and sleeve situation going on. And it's this like slightly hideous turquoise colour. And it's just like, I can so imagine my nana wearing this, you know. <laughs> it's, it's by far one of my favourites. It just gives me like a grandma kind of vintage cool vibe. I only paid a fiver for it in a charity shop. I feel like you can't, if it's a fiver and you get a cool ass jacket with this paisley print on the sleeves and the collar, you just, it's a winner. It's an absolute winner. Here's the paisley for you. It's a very pretty pattern. Very nice, very nice. I'll admit it's another one that's like kind of shapeless, but it's cute and it's got little poppers on the bottom. I I don't do up my coat unless it's absolutely necessary. So a lot of them I'm like, I don't, I don't know how this looks when it's done up. This bad boy here, I know that y'all are like, a vegan with a leather jacket. It's second hand, so I don't think it counts. That's how I work things. It's a Susasi Eleganza fashion handcrafted and made. Original designer garments in an extra large. <laughs> I don't know what any of that means. Incredibly enough, I, I spent my teenage years in real, which was, I wouldn't advise it. And um, upon a revisit, I was like, this sucks, mum, can we go to press that market? And we did. And there was a lady just selling shit for like next to nothing. So I got my everyday coat that I wear on the daily. Like, this is my coat, but you'll see me in, like, out in the streets if you were to see me. For a pound, a designer leather jacket, for a pound. And it's got all sorts of gorgeous embroidery detail on it. It's just gorgeous. And the inside's this nice lining that has like a very faint pattern on it. Got the inside pocket and outside pockets. And it's just, 
everything to me. It's just such a comfy, like, throw it on, goes with almost everything, get out the house, you know? It's my go-to coat. You might notice that it's got some funny misshaping to it and it's just because it's got all my crap in it, honestly. Now, I think everyone that buys a lot of stuff from the charity shop, you have that one thing where you're like, I need to find this. And you keep looking and you keep looking and it just never happens. It took me, I think four years of like genuinely looking for a denim jacket before I found this one. I paid, I want to say this was another five pound jacket, honestly. I feel like it was, no, I feel like this might have been $6.99 or $7.99, something like that. Which, I don't normally spend that much on a charity shop, I like, like, on one item. But I couldn't pass this up because it was exactly what I've been looking for. It's a new basics collection. Classic workwear. And it's just the perfect sort of grungy sort of 80s, sort of like after you washed but not really, oversized denim jacket. You know, it's just, it's baggy, it's kind of lame. I'm doing double denim now. It's, it's perfect. It's got like, ooh, it's got little stars on the buttons. And it's just exactly what I wanted. And I keep having dreams of like doing like embroidery or painting the back or something. I don't think it's gonna happen because I'm not gonna find another one if I fuck this one up. The first one took me so long to find out is. I can see people just moving outside my house through the blinds and it makes me so uncomfortable. But I love this jacket. It's just, like it is massively too big. But that's what I wanted. That was what I wanted. I kept finding fitted ones and cropped ones. And my mum would be like, what do you think of this? I'd be like, that's a shirt, mum, that's a denim shirt. And trying to like rein in my frustration at not finding it. And then I found it. Oh, it's such a good feeling. Anyone that does like thrifting and charity shop shopping knows it. You get what you want, you just have to work for it. This, however, was not a charity shop find. I was dying a little bit every time I put this jacket on. Because this was the coat that my mum wore when I was growing up. And she's had it since like forever. She told me at one point that she had this since my eldest brother was born and he was born in 88. So it's legit 80s. But it's also like it's what I remember my mum being in the whole time I was a kid. I don't know why she stopped wearing it because it's Bloody fabulous. Like, it does have like paint, like it's been worn, you know, it's been loved by my mum. And I love my mum, so now I love her jacket too, with all this fun embroidery. And it says like, three year mine on the back, so it's got like a, a home feel. I don't know what it's got, but I like it. It's got what I wanted. It's, it's just great. I need to sew the pocket up properly. Oh, it's got this little polar bear in it, I'll show you. But it just, oh. Yeah, I just remember like playing with the zip on it when I was on the bus with my mum as a kid and like lots of fun memories with the jacket. And it's not technically mine, I am essentially borrowing it, but like, <laughs> it ain't going back. In case you needed more proof that I just sort of robbed my style off my mum. This was the coat my mum wore the whole time we lived in Denmark and it is kind of too warm to wear here unless it's really cold. But it's, it's just fabulous. Like I think I've shown this in a, I didn't post the video I showed this in. I had shown this in a video explaining that it's like, the like, grandmother, it's me, Anastasia. It just gives me that vibe, you know, it's like, I could do anything in this coat, I could be anyone, I could go anywhere. It's great. I know I wear it. I've worn it three times this winter and it's been cold enough and that's the first time I've worn it in years. But it's just a fabulous coat. It is... It's Dennis by Dennis Bas Basso in a 2XL, hence why it's big. Yeah, okay. It's like all acrylic and polyester, none of it's real, so that's nice. But it's just a brilliant coat and it's so warm. It's so cozy. And again, it was my mother, so it's got some nice and bad memories associated with it. Now, one of the things I was most excited to find was this. Does it have a, it 
it doesn't have a brand, so we're not doing that. But this windbreaker slash waterproof was a great find for me because it reminds me so much of. Oh, I got stuff in my pocket. It reminds me so much of the coat that Scully wears in that Bugs episode of The X Files. I was just like, I'm gonna live my Scully dreams. I'm gonna be going for like wood walks in this, but during like the light spring rains. It was gonna be an absolute vibe until the moment I wore it out in the rain and found out it is not waterproof. It's not even warm. It, it doesn't work for its intended purpose in any way, okay? And I'm aware that you can't like, zip a fucking fleece into it. Women's size 30, 14, workhouse. It just doesn't do anything it's supposed to do, you get me? It doesn't stay dry or keep you dry. It doesn't warm you up or keep you warm. There is no point in wearing it other than being like, oh, Dana Scully, Dana Scully. I'm, to be quite honest, it gets old kind of fast. So this might be on Depop soon now. I've remembered all of this about it, honestly. But I do think it looks really cute. I really like how it looks. <sighs> you need a coat for every outfit. This will go with something one day when I don't need to stay dry or warm. Indoor sports. They exist. I'm never gonna do them. This coat was another one of my favourite like charity shop finds. It's an FE classic club and it just gives me the ultimate matrix vibes. Okay, it's a great fit, in my opinion. And it just I am Neo, I am Keanu Reeves. It gives me both Matrix vibes and like I'm at a runway in Paris or New York and I like don't care about anything, but I had like carrots for lunch and that was good. You know, it's it's not me. It's me if I like decide to actually finally just give up on life and move somewhere else and become someone new. That's what this coat is to me, <laughs> which is why I've worn it out once and hated wearing it the entire time. I was just like, I feel like a fraud, I feel like a fake, I feel like I'm gonna flash somebody. I didn't flash anyone that time. But it's nice to have the option, you know, and I have I have a dream of finding some like faux leather pants that fit nicely and wearing it with like some sort of like black vest top and just being in the matrix for a day. I mean, we're all in the matrix all the time, but I want to just embrace it for a change, you know, rather than running from it. So that's what this coat does for me. And it's just very strange because it's like, this could have easily just been Velcro and instead there's a strap that goes around my wrist like twice and has this buckle and it's just unnecessarily like flamboyant. And I really enjoy that. And that's what made me buy it. And now that I'm wearing it, I really need to find my outfits to wear this well. Get ready for an entire lookbook of outfits to wear with this coat in particular. I need that just for my own personal gain. Right, this was an absolute bargain. It's like a faux sheepskin new look inspire coat, so it's plus size, which I no longer am, but here we are anyway. And it still looks good, so I'm like, I'm not mad at it, but I am gonna give it to my mum soon for reasons that will become clear. And I just wanted like something to give me 70s vibes, you know? I wanted to be able to like walk around and be like, my name's Sam Tyler, or whatever, you know? I just wanted to like be able to pretend it was the 70s. And it did me well for a short while. I'm sorry, I lied. It wasn't even a pound, it was 50p. It still got the... I've worn this out multiple times with the price tag still on it. Fantastic. I love that for me. It doesn't do off, which is annoying because I feel like if it had some like toggles or something, it'd be a damn sight warmer because the, the wind just goes straight through it. And I get that it's faux sheepskin, so it's kind of okay. But it's also kind of not. So I'm gonna give that to my mum because I was lurking on Facebook Marketplace as I did waiting for like vintage shit to come up for nothing because people don't know what it's worth. That's how I got this cool ass 80s ottoman tip for you. And a guy was just like giving away for free two vintage 60s slash 70s coats. This one I'm pretty sure is from the 60s. In the post, he was all oh, you need to dry clean them. They're so dusty, they're so smelly. You need to like sort these coats out. They're vintage, but they're like terrible condition. Free to anyone who wants. And I was like, bitch, I fucking want. So I forced my brother to go and pick them up with me. And I've got the most like 
fucking perfectly fitted, fit like a glove, flawless, proper vintage 60s slash 70s coats. I think they are more so from the 70s and the 60s, personally, but I don't know for sure. But I love them. And they don't smell. They were a little dusty, went in my mum's backyard and like just fucking wafted them about for a bit. And they're perfect. They are perfect condition, super vintage, incredibly warm coats. Because like the entire thing is made out of an animal. Which once I think about it does deeply gross me out. But if I just think about the fact that it's a beautiful vintage coat that lets me feel like not only am I in life on Mars, but I'm wearing something that would have also been in life on Mars. And not only that, but it's just like, these, these styles of coats they don't go out of fashion. You know, I can wear this with so many things and it just looks amazing. I've worn this like three times already. I've only had them for like less than a week. I love them. I love them. Like, God bless the man that fucking gave me these. And this is the other one. This is my favorite of the two. It's a How and Firm model, genuine suede. I'll find the other label in a minute. But it's just glorious. I love the deep, like, warm brown tone. I love the, th I've just realised that's definitely real. But I love the fur trim when I don't think about the fact that it's an animal. And most importantly, I'm going to come up close in a sec, these toggle button, weird ass, fucking, the future is now, but in the 70s things. I've never had a coat that does up like this. And it's so cool. It is so cool. I'm, I'm gonna show you. Right, so here's, here's me coat. And you put that over, put it through there and twist it. Like I've had bags and stuff that do up like that, but never a coat. It's so cool. And it still has the original belt as well. Insanity, absolutely crazy. I can't believe it. I can't believe they both fit as well. They are both a little tight across the shoulders and arms, but honestly, I'm pretending they're not. <laughs> like I just never would have expected them to fit. Cause they didn't tell me what size they were or anything. It was just two vintage coats. So I was like, well, I can like try and sell them on Depop if they don't fit. I don't want these to go in the bin, which he was threatened. So that's the coat, it's from 2A Hoop Lane, London. It's got a telephone number on it as well. It's, it is a little damaged on the lining, but it's literally just the lining. And I love the fact that like, it's, it's damaged from someone else, you know? Like someone else has worn and loved this coat in the way that I now wear and love this coat. And that's such like the appeal, part of the appeal for vintage clothing for me. It's just gorgeous. So they're, they're my vintage coats and thrifted coats and so on and so forth and the tails behind them. And Jodie has a new bed. <laughs> I forgot what I was saying, I got distracted by my cat. Um, thank you for watching. Please do watch more. I am trying to like upload regularly and like... <laughs> Did you clean this? I am trying to like upload more regularly and do shit. I don't know, man. Subscribe if you want to see more from me. Maybe watch more if you can see it. Feel free to like follow me somewhere. I don't know. You do you. Whatever you choose to do, thank you for watching. Um, goodbye.